leaves fall out, bullets talk. Here, in the mining sections of the great west of old, hard, cunning men formed into gangs of desperadoes, ruthlessly slaughtered even their own companions in their mad desire for ill-gotten gains. Money stayed but a short while in local banks when the outlaws roared through town. Ambushes were staged, wagon teams dry ghosts, and law and order became a phrase to be laughed at. When the situation finally became intolerable, the United States government sent in trained special agents to put an end to the vicious tactics of the lawbreakers. Traveling in pairs, their identity unrevealed, fearless and unafraid, these special agents fought for the rights of all good citizens, never to stop until justice was brought to life again and the law of the six-gun repealed. So this is Bodie. Hey, look at that population. 418, 411, now it's down to 398. A growing little community. What are they growing, tombstones? Tell us what you find, Mr. Moore. Well, that's Mr. Moore over there. Thanks. Hey, Bob, these fellas are looking for you. Looking for me? Yes, sir. What can I do for you? My name's Pat Gallagher, sir. This is Tony Crockett, my partner. We're with the United States government, representing the Treasury Department. Well, oh, we're fellow workers, then. Glad to know you. Thank you, sir. How do you do? What are you fellas doing out this way? Did you receive a letter from the government? Letter? What about? About the silver you've been buying for them. Doesn't come up with our specifications. They found it was full of lead. Lead? Why, how could... Say, what do you fellas mean by that? Well, when they melted the bars down in Denver, it assayed 65% lead. Silver that came from here? It came from here all right, Mr. Moore. It had your stamp on it. Well, I don't see how that's possible. Every bar of that silver was carefully tested before we shipped it east. Well, what kind of a test do you make on it? Well, we always cut off one of the corners and run an assay on it. Look. been expecting. Government men sticking their noses in our business. They gotta be put out of the way. Well, we'll take care of that right away. Good. Every one of the corners is assayed pure silver. Now tell me, how could one part of a bar be pure silver and another part lead? I don't know, Mr. Moore, but we intend to find out. Where do you get your silver from? Well, I buy it from various mines, the Silver Lake, the Cordova, the Bullfrog. I know, but where do you get most of it from? Well, I buy about 50% of it from the Bullfrog mine. Who owns it? Jed Hawkins. What kind of a fellow is he? Well, he's all man and a yard wide. <laughs> well, look at... Hey! Look at this. A silver dollar. Yeah, and what a silver dollar. It's got two heads. You know something, Pat? I got a hunch that this is gonna be my lucky piece. Okay. Where'd that come from? I'm down the street. Somebody's always shooting at us. You'll get used to it. Three or four of them. Yeah. You stay here and draw the fire. I'll see what I can do. Thanks.
Have a look. Hey, Pat, look at over there. Bullfrog Mine, Jed Hawkins' owner. Isn't that the mine that produces most of the silver around here? That's what Moore said. Hey, you know, I think those men deliberately let us out here. Do you think they're trying to drag out us again? Let's take a chance. Well, that's what we're getting paid for. Don't move. You fellas have no business here. You're trespassing on private property. Now, what do you want? You own this mine? Yes, I'm the owner. I'm giving you about 10 seconds to clear out of here. Now, I'm only warning you once. We're here on government business, Mr. Hawkins. We'd like to talk to you. I'm not interested in talk. You fellas go in or do I shoot? All right, Mr. Hawkins, but you're making a mistake. We can close this mine. If we have to, we will. Get out. They said they're going to close your mind. Let them try it. Ain't nobody going to tell me what to do with my own property. There's a law. People can do funny things with the law. Maybe you ought to head into town and stop them. Think so? Sure. Maybe I ought to. Government man, huh? Saddle up, Jed. I'll ride in with you just to make sure you get a fair deal. Jed Hawkins, owner of the Bullfrog Mine. You know, Mr. Hawkins didn't seem to like us. Oh? Say, tell me, where are you taking that stuff? Well, I was going to freight it over the railroad at Lawson's Crossing, but now I believe I'd better keep it here and run some more tests. You know, I still can't see how it was leaded. Let's take a look at it. All right. Oh, say, Pat, I'm going to conduct a little silver experiment on my own. Good. Do that. Jed. 
same fellow that was up at your place. Yeah, I know. Trying to tell me what to do with my own mind. Now's the time to get him. trouble and we're going to take advantage of it. Hang around, but not too close. We don't want him to recognize you. Which box do you want to open? Doesn't make any difference to me. Check anyone you like. Try to check this. Oh. out of here. Drive it up to the mine. Yet? Here. Help me bring him to Stoney. I've got to talk to him. I'm all right. You're a mighty good man. Nobody ever whipped me before. How'd you happen to tie into me? Saxon said I better get ready. You're going to close up my mind. Who's this man, Saxon? He buys. done for. He never had a chance. What happened to the wagon? The wagon, it's gone. Must have been Bartlett and those two gunmen who fired on you. Yeah, and our friend Saxon. Well, there's nothing we can do for him. Take care of him, Mr. Moore. Come on, Stoney.
They're around here somewhere. Keep your eyes open. what it's all about. Better spread out. So that's how he's been doing it. So that's how he's been doing what? Doctoring the silver. Get in the lead in the middle. Look. Take these silver plugs and put them right in there like that. Take this lead and put it there. So you do all that and then what? Then you melt the silver. Pour it all around until it runs underneath on the sides and on top. What do you got? You got a silver bar that's two-thirds lead. Sure, and you cut off any corner and it'll still assay pure silver. That's pretty clever. We have, haven't we? There's another one up there trying to get in on the party, over there at the left. Well, this is no place for us. Uh, I'll try to take care of him.
All right, get in there. Are we getting the town? Yeah, let's get in there fast. up the gang. That's right. Did you find out how they doctored that silver? We sure did. And we found out who was behind it, too. You did? Say, uh, you must have been doing a lot of target practice since we've been gone, Mr. Moore. Most of your shells are gone. Yeah, and your horse is sweaty. Somebody must have been riding them pretty hard. Say, what are you getting at? Nothing. Except that you were the mass rider that tried to kill us back to the mine. Why, you're crazy. I had nothing to do with it. Oh, yes, you did. You and Saxon had everything to do with it. You tried to tell us it was Hawkins when he first rode into town. And that's where you tripped yourself up. You said you were buying 50% of your silver from Hawkins. Hawkins wasn't mining silver. He was mining lead. That's what he was trying to tell us when Saxon killed him. Why, are you... Put the cuffs on him. Get in the wagon. Come on. That's quite a load for Lawson's Crossing. And it's all phony. Say, Pat, that's quite a trip over to Lawson's. Uh, who's going to drive this rig? I guess you are, Stoney. Well, wait a minute. Listen, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll match you for you. Heads. How can I lose? How can I win?